right, guys. So this is going to be a series of videos that is our Thanksgiving video. So our Thanksgiving video is multiple videos. All right. So let me tell you how this video came to be first because it's a great story. So I'm talking to the owner of Harvest Right, uh, the freeze drying machine company. And I'm like, you know what? I want to do something related to freeze drying and the holidays. All right. I'm thinking like, let's do something for like Thanksgiving. And he goes, I have a great idea. Let's freeze dry like food and find somebody who's like serving overseas and send them stuff and they'll be able to rehydrate it and taste it just like we had it. And I'm like, hmm. So if we did Thanksgiving dinner, we could pull this off. So like if I did turkey and mashed potatoes and stuffing and I freeze dried it and I sent it overseas to that person uh, who's enlisted, um, basically he would have, or she would have a Thanksgiving dinner just like being at home. So I'm like, okay, that's kind of a cool idea. I like that idea. So it was not really mine, but kind of mine. I've been working on this for a while. Been talking to all my friends. One of my friends wrote me and said, hey, my son is stationed overseas. And I'm like, oh, that's perfect. And he said, not only is he stationed overseas, but this Thanksgiving will be the first time he's been away from home. Wow, that kind of broke my heart. So this will be his first Thanksgiving away from his family. So we want to put a lot of love into this. We want to make it good. Uh, we're going to do the best we can so that he'll have the opportunity to uh, kind of have a Thanksgiving meal like he would back here in the States. So uh, I have his name and his picture. Here's his picture. Uh, his name is uh, PFC, which I think stands for Private First Class uh, Robert... His last initial is S. I don't want to give anybody's personal information out, but um, uh, he is overseas right now and he will be gone during the holiday. So I wanted to um, kind of make his holiday. So we decided he's the gentleman we're going to send food to, let him rehydrate it, have a Thanksgiving meal on us. I'm going to cook everything. Um, going to do the best I can. And you'll get to follow the steps uh, through each of the videos. So today we're going to be doing the mashed potatoes and the gravy in this video. Uh, mashed potato and gravy, right? Everybody has that every Thanksgiving. So I thought we'd make mashed potatoes and gravy. And then like we'll do the turkey on another video. We'll do the stuffing on another video. Uh, we'll, we'll put pieces of the dinner together together. Okay, so... Sit back and relax, enjoy the holidays with me, and this series is going to be called Thanksgiving Away From Home. Here's the star of today's video, it's going to be the potatoes, all right? Got a bunch of potatoes here. Here's salt and pepper, we're going to be using lots of butter, so I got room temperature butter, I got more butter, got getting to room temperature right now. Got some Parmesan cheese we're going to throw in there, got some garlic bits we're going to throw in there, we're going to use some cream. There's a bunch of ways you can cook the potatoes. As a kid, I grew up just stabbing it with a fork, getting a bunch of holes in the potato, then microwaving it, and that seemed to work perfect. You can do that. Or you can like cut this up into small or bite-sized cubes, and you can boil it. You can boil whole potatoes. I don't like boiling any food in water. I just don't do it because it dilutes it. The... Um, the vitamins go into the water and get dumped. I don't like that. So I'm going to cook this in the pressure cooker and I'm going to cook it for about eight minutes and it should be fork tender. So I'm going to peel these, put them in the pressure cooker, cook them for eight, about eight to 10 minutes. And then we'll check them with the fork. If not, we'll throw some more time on there. Okay. And then we're going to take this masher and we're going to start mashing the potatoes okay so get them all mashed up then we'll start mixing stuff in now what I like to do is I like to get some moisture in there so I'm gonna take this butter dish it has butter already in it and 
drop that on there and let that butter just melt in there. I'll probably add more butter a little bit later, but for right now, it does nothing but help me with the mashing. I'm going to dump in a bunch of uh, garlic. Do all my seasoning, bunch of salt in there. Shake a little, whoops, got that in there. There we go. Take a little bit of the heavy whipping cream. You can use half and half, you can use milk, you can use more butter. You can use heavy whipping cream, which I like to use heavy whipping cream. And get this all mixed up. Put a little Parmesan cheese in there. There we go. Just give it a hint of some of that beautiful Parmesan flavor. I'm going to leave this out because this is going to get frozen for us to freeze dry it so we can send it overseas. We're going to have to freeze this on half the tray and on the other half, we're going to have the gravy. All right, guys, this is where you, this is, you taste this to see if it has enough cream, if it has enough butter, if you have enough salt and pepper, you'll be able to taste it. Salt and pepper is good. Drop your butter in, get that melted. All right, grab your flour. You're gonna sprinkle your flour all throughout the butter. This is kind of gonna make the base for your gravy. So you're gonna cook this for about two minutes. Gonna get it all mixed up. Be careful you don't burn your flour, lower your flame if you need to. I love my rock cookware. Hasn't let me down yet. Wait till you get a little golden color to your flour and butter. Just give it a minute. Okay, you're gonna put a little bit of your broth in. About a quarter of it. Wow, that just absorbed it all. Get that where you want it. A little bit more broth then you're gonna basically cook in your broth a little at a time this is the most you'll put in the second time you're gonna put in about half of what's remaining you'll see in the directions get it all stirred in and I'm gonna put the remainder in let that cook for a few minutes together Looks a little thin, so go ahead and just get that going. It's looking beautiful. Don't need any drippings for this one. You can, if you have drippings, apply them, but we're going to be applying the Worcestershire and the pepper for our taste and the cream. So put the Worcestershire in. There we go. And we're going to drop in the pepper. There you go. And we're going to mix it all in. Let that all cook together. Looks beautiful. Could you imagine some turkey drippings in there? From your turkey after carving it, making this up. Making this the last at the very end. It only takes a few minutes to make, as you can see. All right, guys, we're going to give this a try right now. Just going to dunk a little bit in there. Here we go. Wow. So, we've made the mashed potatoes. We've made the gravy. Let's go get those in the freezer right now. We're going to freeze gravy and mashed potatoes. They can rehydrate that overseas if he wants to share it with his friends. I made a little bit of extra on the mashed potatoes. The gravy should go over all of it. So um, I deem this a success. This came out good. So you guys take care. I'll see you on the next. I think the next video we're either doing turkey or stuffing. I'm not sure yet. But get ready because we're doing 
Thanksgiving away from home.